So, let's take that in line. We're finally fishing with this lockdown. It's the 18th of May, and we're on a new lake in North, or down, shall I say, North Yorkshire. Um, it's Jurassic World. Yeah, it's going to be called Jurassic World purely for the fact that it's got cats in over 80, it's got sturgeon in over 80 pounds. Uh, but we but we don't know is how big the carp are in here. We don't know how many is in here neither. Uh, so we're doing 48 hours. There's myself, Darren, Carl Storer, and his son Theo. Uh, yes, we're, we're social distancing. I'm over here. They're over there. Um, so fingers crossed, we'll get some fish. Did you not even scream when you went off to get your other camera? Did you have to try to jump down? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Don't look at me, that's to voice you. Traitor. Yeah. Inline clapping carp dogs. Uh, <laughs> big carp camo. Right, you know what it is? She's found a softer belly to lie on. <laughs> <laughs> a better bed. Yeah, a bigger bed. Is that what it is? Yeah. Do not like Papa the Dad's uh, double chin, eh? Carp dog. No, it's She was laid on top of your belly in the, in the van coming up once down here, wasn't she? She's after the triple belly. She looks like the big bellies, see. Oh my name, my baby. See? See, she still sure goes back to her dad. What are you after? <laughs> yeah, felt sorry for you. Yeah. She probably thought, God, that isolation's done me all right. It's comfy sitting there now. <laughs> well, I've got to say, the old uh, McBrig station's great for fanning the fire. Yeah. 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 They all sound good for making fire. Exactly, not only is the rig station good for making your rigs it's also good for fanning the fire look at that beauty it's a women whoa look at that cheeky rig station shame we're not open to get a new one could have had one each so good for your trays for your dinner the one in Danton was when we drove down no. what? one in Donny's not been open neither and the camera's on the note. Hey Sean, record it. It's because the top oh, it's come out. No! Have you lost it? No, it's still on. Because the top's off, that's why. Go on, Carl. Live take. No, I think it's come off. No. Nice, come on. Come to water. Yeah, it's come off. Does it come off? Yeah, it's sturgeon jumps out of water, doesn't it? Oh. Do you see it launch out of water? It's sturgeon. Oh, nah. yeah. I have me back to it, mate. Oh. Gutted. <laughs> Guy's lost a fish. <laughs> Oh, never mind, Carl. There's always next time. <laughs> you could have had that, you naughty. Shit angler, ain't he? Yeah, he is. Because he never catches, does he? That's why he can't handle it. Oh, it's looking good then for us too, boy George. Get back on it. Go on, Dan, stick it about for me then. Oh, I've got to get my shoes on. Yeah, it'll be sitting on top of itself. Smell it. It stinks. It's a 
Well, good morning, guys. Um, it's been a, an uneventful uh, night for me uh, last night. Um, I had a, a pickup on the left hand rod and a drop back, but that was it. Um, it definitely wasn't a liner because I've got all my rods, should I say, I've got all my lines pinned down the bottom with the uh, back leads. So um, <clears throat> there was a big crash just outside, well, just in this bay here yesterday. Well, last night, should I say, while I was in my bivvy. And, uh, and it was shortly after that when, when I got the indication on the on the bite alarm. Um, so yeah. So anyway, um, Carl's lost two now. From over the he's over the far side. He's fishing the left hand side of the lake. Uh, he's lost two, and uh, Darren's he's fishing in the middle of the lake, and uh, he got a uh, a 17 pound five seven something like that, 70, just up about 17 and a half pound. Um, Sturgeon out last night, uh, last night as well. So uh, yeah, so at least the fish are feeding anyhow. Um, <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to redo my rods and uh, try and catch one of these fish. Right, let's get some new bait on. Smells silty. So I'll get these done and then I'll tell you a little bit more about the lake. Like these types of videos, uh, why not subscribe the channel? Uh, make sure you hit that. Uh, the bell which is down that side I believe or down that side I can't never forget remember where it is so yeah subscribe to the channel guys hit that bell don't forget to like and um, share uh, the channel uh, on your social media for me because it, it helps me to get to grow me uh, to grow my channel and get more subscribers so um, let's tell you a little bit about the lake man so it's the guy who's got it he's he's not had it that long so he stocked it with 40 cats up to 80 pound and he's also put eight or nine, so I have a seven or eight or eight or nine sturgeon in, and they go up to 70 pound. And uh, he stocked it with some carp from 10 pound up over, but there was already carp in here before he took it over, but he's not sure how many how many carp's in it. Um, but the, apparently the, the guys he's had fishing it has seen what they call the long common, which was caught from, uh, of from just over the way where I'm in the, in my swim um, and apparently it was up to the high high 20s and there's also a high 20 mirror being pulled out as well and obviously there's the 10 pound is what he's just put in and there's a lot of he believes there's a lot of other fish in here but he's not sure what's in here so he's happy for me to show the lake he's happy for me to tell you what's in the lake but at the moment um, it's not been advertised, so there's, like I say, there's only a handful of people who fished it. We only found it by chance um, through uh, talking to the guy, uh, because Carl knows him pretty well. So anyway, he's, he's allowed us to fish it for two days. Uh, it's supposed to be for two people uh, to um, exclusively book the lake out. Um, 
but because we can't know him, he's allowed us. He's allowed three on the lick this time, but normally it's two people. Um, so what we've done is we split the lick into three. Carl's up the top left hand side. There's also a cabin there, what he's built as well, guys. So you can stay in the cabin. You don't need to bring a bivy. Um, so Carl's got the top end of the lake. He's fishing that quarter, and he's lost two sturgeon up to now. Then we've got Darren, who's fishing the middle of the lake over that way. I'll show you shortly. He's fishing the middle of the lake, and I've got the whole of the right hand side. There is fish in my swim, or there was fish in my swim last night. I've heard them boshing. There was a big crash just out in front of my swim last night, and then shortly after that, I got an, indic an indicate on me. Uh, left down rod um, which I think it just pulled forward and then there was a drop back on it and when I got out it, there was nothing there no more action on it uh, so I just tightened it back up and left it uh, and left it there for the night so and there is a bit of fizzing here and there so there is fish in the swim but obviously it's not it's not being pressured um, so whether they whether they're going to be easy to catch that's another matter so yeah right so if you want to if you want to fish this lake you can contact me you can private message me or send me an email um, which is inlinecarpen at gmail.com and then what I'll do is I'll give you the details of the guy that owns the lake and then you can get in touch with him and arrange to fish it now if you want to fish it it's going to it's going to cost you a hundred pound a night between the two of you um, but you're fishing for big fit for big fish and he's gonna he's gonna be calling the lake when it's open to the public it's going to be called Jurassic Jurassic World I think it was so yeah so that's a bit about the lake um, what I'll do is I'll do a, I'll, I'll pan the lake I'll show you I'll show you it I've also had the drone up so you can see the lake from the drone um, it's sort of shaped like a clover leaf so yeah but like I say I've got I've had the drone up so you'll see that footage as well guys and you'll be able to see the lake um, all the back, all the back side there, that's all trees, trees on the right hand side and obviously you're fishing to the far side or to the middle or whatever um, but I believe, not that I've, I've fished for cats, I've never, I've never catfished before in my life um, but I believe the cats stay in the open water and in, in the deeper channels and that's the, that's the reason I put that left hand rod in that channel because that's my deepest channel just here which is like I say eight, about 8 foot 2 and over the back side then it, you've got that um, you've got the bar so far out which brings it up to about two foot six off the surface and then over the bar once it gets over the bar it drops to about three four foot then it comes back up again towards the trees up to two foot so there's plenty of area to fish to feed the fish guys I mean if there's two he's fishing it and you split the lake in half pick your lake what side you want or draw pegs or whatever and uh, you're going to have a crack in time fishing here to be fair um, so yeah that's it for now so like I say guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel and um, I'm also going to be running a competition as well um, where I'm going to offer a inline carpet t-shirt and a inline carpet um, hoodie I'm going to give the two away for free all you have to do, you don't have to have inline carpet on it. If you want me to put your name on it and a, and, a, and a different fish, then fine, I'll do that for you. It doesn't have to be inline carpet, but that's that's the prize anyway. It's a t-shirt and hoodie. But the t-shirts will go up to 4XL in the t-shirts. Or is it 3XL? I think it's 3XL. And the hoodies, I can only go up to, I can only get them, sorry, uh, to 2XL. But yeah, so that's that's the prize anyway, guys. All you got to do, if you're already a subscriber, you're already in, in for a chance of winning it. Um, and if you want to win the t-shirt and the hoodie, you've got to subscribe. Once I get up to 500 subscribers, and then I'll do a draw. Uh, and then the winner, I'll get it sent off to them, UK only, and uh, a free post. I'll send it to you for free. All you got to do is tell me if you want the inline carpet or if you want your name on it. And, it, and it's yours. So, enough of me rabbiting on about that. Um, let's show you what the lake looks like.
guys, welcome back. Um, it's now, it's just nearly 7 p.m. Uh, and it's Tuesday evening. So we've got tonight and tomorrow left to try and get into some more fish. Um, there's nothing coming out during the day at all. Uh, there's only, like I say, being there. Darren's only had that one, um, sturgeon. And obviously Carl, Carl lost them too. Uh, early on yet last night so it's been quiet but now it's been really really hot today though apparently it's been like in the 20s yeah. so fingers crossed we might get something going in tonight or once the sun gets settles down or the clouds move over we do but uh, yeah fingers crossed we're getting something tonight we've got the got all the, the spots prepped I'm going to bring all my, my rods back in before it gets dark um, put some fresh bait on uh, send send them back out with some more um, with some more spot mix and uh, yeah fingers crossed we'll get walking up during the night with an angry fish on hopefully if not well then looks like I'll be blanking again <laughs> but it is what it is isn't it you can't catch all the time can you I'm just pleased to be out after all this two months of lockdown it's been a nightmare so I'm just pleased to get out on the bank um, I was out fishing last week, just for the watch, just for the, the one night. I didn't video it. It was only a 24 hour uh, where we were on uh, fishing uh, Selby Three Lakes. This is the first proper session since January, I think it was. Last time we were out, and I've never had a carp on the bank this year at all. So the last carp I had was November on my birthday back. So uh, I'm due. I'm due a fish. Um, but if it's not from here. It'll be from somewhere else hopefully um, got to christen the new rods as well haven't I I mean I've not had a carp on them yet all I've had is a couple of bream on them you know I might get one of these baby ducks <laughs> beautiful day though it's been a really really nice day today the dogs loved it she's enjoyed it only girl yeah she was after the rats last night one of them came right up with the baby door she chased it away, but she did, she did, she wasn't fast enough to catch it. So she was on sentry duty last night, getting up, looking for rats. Well, yeah, looking for rats last night, eh? After the rats. Yes, she was, you after the rats. <laughs> right, anyway, guys, I'll check in a bit later, hopefully, with a fish. If not, you'll probably see me in the morning. Until then, guys. Catch you later. Well, all right, guys. Uh, it's a final day. It's now 20 to 11. And uh, nobody had any fish last night. Darren had a couple of liners, but that was about it. I didn't even hear any fish in, in my area last night at all. Um, crashing in through the night so uh, yeah it's uh, it's been really hard fishing to be fair guys so I mean I don't know it's because we've got high pressure it can make it harder to fish really and then also clear skies is, is not in our favour the hot sun it was really hot yesterday 21 degrees yesterday today has got to be 22 um, but we've got to be off today anyway uh, but we can if we want we can stay here for as long as we want because um, there's nobody on coming on till tomorrow and there's a, a couple of guys coming to fish it and who's fished it before so they're coming tomorrow um, so we could stay till midnight if we wanted to but I don't think we'll be here that long to be honest I mean it's not fishing I didn't expect it to be easy fishing I mean because we're not being fished a lot uh, the fish are obviously on the naturals and um, it's probably going to take a bit to switch them over to fishing to feeding off boilies he has got an automatic feeder going in there which is uh, chucking scratton pellets and um, 10 mil uh, krill minute uh, sorry sticky bits krill boilies in so he's sort of trying to get them switched onto that i believe but i mean i'm using i've been using krill sticky krill boilies manila boilies and also um i've got a few um cc more live system boilies what i've been using up uh, left off last season um i bought a lot of krill and manila for frau france trip which we were supposed to be going 
this week on Friday, um, but because of this coronavirus, obviously we can't get there, it's been cancelled. Uh, so we've rebooked it uh, for the same time next year. Fingers crossed, all this crap that's going on will be hopefully nearly over by then and travel will be back to normal and we'll be able to go. So it's, that's, that's really paid me off, to be honest. Um, I was really looking forward to that, uh, to that trip. It was 13 of us going, and uh, it would have been a, it would have been a good trip. All all of us like a laugh and whatnot. Um, we were going to go we were going to go to Abbey Lakes uh, at, in France on the we were going to be fishing the Fox Lake, and I believe there's like 17, 16 or 17 pegs, but you're allowed 13 pegs out, so you can move your swim if you want to if you want to move. So yeah. Um, all I need to sort out is my P&O trip because uh, some of the guys are getting emails off P&O ferries and um, to say how like to all they're going to do is give you a credit note so um, you can re, re, re book your trip and at the cost of what we've already paid this year but I haven't received no emails and uh, so I sent them I sent them one myself and I told them I wanted a refund because you never know what's going to happen I mean if they've got a business we've lost our money haven't we so maybe that's why they haven't got back to me um, but and, it, and they're not even using the phones. So you can't even phone them. Anyway, that's my that's my problem, isn't it? Um, so we might lose that money. But anyway, yeah. Um, as of the fishing guys on the lake, um, I've tried to do. I've had the drone up a few times. So and I've done some aerial footage of the lake. I've also done some uh, panned around the lake with the camera uh, to show you what the lake looks like if you want to come and fish it. But like I say, uh, we can't actually tell you exactly where the, where the lake is. It's in North uh, Yorkshire. Um, it's not going to become a commercial lake just yet. It will be in time, but it's not. he's not ready to commercialize it just yet. So it's like, um, I can give you the details if you want the details, but you have to, you'll have to uh, email me um, or, or private message me. Uh, you, which you can get me on Facebook or uh, uh, Instagram, Inline Carpen. Or uh, if you email me at uh, inlinecarpen gmail.com, um, at gmail.com, shall I say, I can uh, email you the, the details and you can contact the guys straight away uh, and try and get booked on, but it will cost you £100 a night between two of you. So and then there's only two people allowed on at one time. Uh, yeah, so fingers crossed. I can't see it happening, right? But fingers crossed, we'll get into a fish uh, before we go home. Last knock and sort of thing. Um, going by my track record of, of last season, um, that was when I was seeing to catch him, wasn't it? On my last. Uh, on me, the, the final minutes on last knockings before before um, packing up. So hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll get one before we go. If not, I'm gonna end the video here, guys. So thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you want to enter the competition, all you got to do is um, well. So being with a chance of winning the competition where I'm going to give a t-shirt away and a hoodie um, you've got to subscribe the channel like the channel share the channel and then you'll be automatically entered into the draw to win a t-shirt and a hoodie but I'm afraid on the hoodies I can only go to 2XL and on the t-shirts I can go to 3XL I think it is or 4XL um, so let me know what you want. You don't have to have inline carpet on it. I'll put if you want your name on it and a, a different fish or that fish. I can do that for you. That's not an issue. Um, and yeah, so that's going to be the prize. So yeah, I think we'll leave it there, guys. Don't like I say, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And if I get a fish, obviously then you'll see it. If not, thanks for watching, guys. And don't forget, enjoy your fishing, and I'll see you on the next one.